Hi there, this is Liesl of SavvySelfGrowth.com and I wanted to chat to you a little bit about goals today. And I know this time of year it's a big topic, it's the beginning of the year, everybody is doing New Year's resolutions. Some people have completely given up on New Year's resolutions because obviously they don't stick. And so, yes, me too, I don't believe in New Year's resolutions because often that doesn't lead to action. We need to take action to make our goals true. But the thing is, sometimes even before we can start getting into action, there are some mindset things or some things happening in our subconscious mind that prevents us from even wanting to go on that road, even though we might really want the thing that we want. So a little while ago, about a week or so ago before Christmas, I was sitting here doing some tapping for myself on a goal that I wanted to reach in 2018. And I realized a whole bunch of things came up for me. And I wrote a, goal, a post about that on Facebook, about the five things that often happen for introverts as well, when they start thinking about a goal they want to reach. So I'll just mention them quickly, uh, briefly here. The first thing that came up for me was feeling a sense of contraction around that goal, like feeling smaller when we think about it, instead of feeling expanded and excited. The second thing that can happen is we fear the visibility. Like if I reach that goal, I'm going to be in the spotlight or I'm going to have to show up or show up more. And, and there's a whole bunch of things that go together with that for introverts. And then the third thing that can happen is um, we realize that it's like going to the gym. If you go to the gym once, you're not going to get fit. And the same with a goal. We need consistent action and some form of consistent, persistent action steps to get us to the goal and often we resist that consistency we want it to be easy and just almost like float to us in a cloud of puffy smoke and and it doesn't happen like that so we resist the consistency that goes together with it number four that can come up is we think things like i don't have the right xyz yet like i need to get more prepared i need another course i need to um get more ready, I just don't feel ready inside. So it's all about feeling ready. And then the fifth thing that can happen is we have identity issues around our goal. We don't feel like the kind of person yet that can reach that goal. And with good reason. Uh, if we were the kind of person who can reach that goal, we would already have it. So I wanted to just talk to you today about the number one, that feeling of contraction in the body uh, when we think about a big goal. So I want you to keep in mind at the moment, if you have a really big goal or even a small one that you want to reach and you close your eyes, it can be something like losing a certain amount of weight, uh, writing a book, uh, moving to a new city or a new country, starting a new business, um, moving careers, doing anything that's out of your comfort zone and that you're going to have to reach a little bit out yourself to get there. So if you think about that goal now and you close your eyes, and you just take a nice deep breath in and put all your attention on your body and just feel into the feeling that you get when you think about this goal that's going to stretch you so much. Does it feel like this? Like, oh, I don't think I can do it. Or does it feel, yes, I can do it. I'm excited about it. Expanded. Does it contract your body or does it feel expanded? Well, when I was doing some tapping about a week ago on my goal and I suddenly realized that I've got this contracted feeling around my goal, I thought to myself, now how on earth do I think I'm going to get that goal if my goal is over there and I feel smaller and I could just literally see the picture come up for me like how I'm smaller reaching away from my goal. How do I think I'm going to get my goal if I'm literally with my body actually trying to get away from it with this contracted feeling. So one of the things that we can do for that is my favorite tool, which is tapping. And it can be really, really simple. So I'm just going to lead you through one very simple, simple tapping around. And then you can repeat this as often as you want. Um, of course, there's many more action steps and many more steps that we need to follow to reach our goal. But if this is the thing that you found when you closed your eyes and you thought about your goal and it made you feel like uh, smaller, um, Please follow me. So we start on the karate chop or the side of the hand point and just say something like, even though I feel contracted when I think about my goal, I love and accept myself anyway. And we do this step three times. Even though I feel contracted 
when I think about my goal, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. And even though I feel so contracted, my body feels smaller and like I want to get away almost from this goal, when I think about it, I deeply and completely love and accept myself anyway. And then do a round of tapping just on the, the eyebrow point, so I feel this contracted feeling about my goal. I feel this contraction when I think about my goal. I feel contracted in my body when I think about my goal. I feel contracted, not expanded. This smaller feeling when I, that I get in my body when I think about my goal. I feel small and contracted when I think about my goal. Under the arm. I feel small and contracted when I think about my goal. How do I think I'm ever going to reach it? And then a point I like to add is tapping the wrists together. There's many points going to the fingers through there. I feel small and contracted when I think about my goal. And ending on top of the head. This contracted feeling when I think about my goal. And then taking a nice, lovely, deep breath. Oh, I could feel a little bit of a nice release over there. And then just check in again when you think about your goal and you feel the feeling in your body. Does it feel any different? Usually what I do is ask that you take a number out of 10. So how contracted do you feel before we start the tapping round and then again how contracted do you feel after the tapping round so I didn't ask you to get a number before so before you do your next tapping round just make sure you check in with that number out of 10 you know 10 is high it's very contracted and 1 or 0 is not contracted so do a few of these rounds just here and there as you think about your goal for this contraction because how it's, isn't it crazy like when we feel it like this about our goal and there is obviously when we do this there's something that scares us about it there's many many different thoughts about what could be the scary thing it could be I'm gonna have to show up I'm gonna have to be visible that scares me I might need to do things that I don't like doing I um, it's an unknown road for me there's a hundred things that can scare us about it but first of all let's just work with this feeling in the body that makes us contract so that we can start feeling a little bit looser and easier around this goal so i hope this means something to, to you today keep on tapping it is a fabulous tool and i'll show up with those other reasons that i talked about in another video and another little post i um, hope you have a wonderful day and see you soon